Okay, we're back again today from our happy place. We have a bunch of fun things to show you. The sun is out. Look at the pretty sun reflecting on the water. It's the little things in life sometimes. Let me get to my spot. Okay. Good morning, ladies. I hope you're all having good mornings and that you're having a lovely day because you are lovely people. Um, first of all, I want to show you a panel that came in yesterday. Deb Strain did a panel that's called Public Kindness, and you will find this on our website. It's really cute. I'll kind of hold it up slow. Um, if you are wanting to fussy cut blocks, I would think you could fussy cut these. I kind of measured a little bit yesterday. I think 11 and a half, and they would finish at 11. And then there's that long piece at the top. I don't know if you'd want to do like a neck pillow maybe with that, or if you'd want to somehow uh, have it in the top of your quilt, whatever. They're on there, they're 749. So if you want one or two or five or nine, um, they're on there for you, okay? So today we're going to be doing a straw hat towel. Um, and this came about because of customers. There was two ladies in that were doing, I believe it was a sunbonnet suit, I could be wrong about that, but they were looking for fabric for a beehive for their uh, project. They were working on a block and we had a piece of the fabric they were looking for, but we didn't have it anymore. Um, we're not a museum, we're a store, so <laughs> we have things in them. We don't have them again. So if you see them, my advice to you is snag them because they're probably gonna be gone. So we were looking at other fabrics that you could use instead of that, and they saw this fabric, and they were like, oh, that's really cool fabric. What could you use that for? And things started swirling around between the three of us talking, and I was like, oh, I think that would make a really cute straw hat. So from that conversation with them, this towel was born. So sometimes you guys inspire us. You might not think that you do, but you do. So there will be a free download on the website later today, and I do mean later today, so give us till at least this afternoon because it's going to take us that long with everything else that's going on this morning, um, and then we'll get that on there. So it'll be a free one for you, but I'll give you um, some dimensions and directions because I know some of you can't download things. You don't have a printer, and you don't have that capacity so you rely on someone else so I will give you as many general directions as I can so um, there you can see what he looks like okay and we'll show him throughout the time too and I'll tell you what I did so I took barely there uh, it's a double-sided fusible and I really like it um, if you can see like for this it doesn't make it stiff and rigid like some interfacings make your things, and it doesn't gook up your needle. Um, I don't like a gooky needle <laughs> when I'm doing stitching either by hand or with my machine. I don't like when I have to clean it off, and Barely There is the best one I found for that. Um, it works every time for me. I have a love-hate relationship with Wonder Under. It sometimes will work for me, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if any of you have that problem with that. Um, I know some of you are big Steam and Seam fans, uh, and there's other ones that you like, but for me, they gook up my needle, and I am not a needle gook fan. <laughs> so, this is what I like to use barely there. Um, they're laughing at my technical terms, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, it has like a paper side, and then it has like a shiny, this is the side that would have the adhesive to it. So this is not the part that you want towards your iron. You want the paper side towards your iron. Uh, it's the voice of experience telling you that. Okay, so you're gonna need to trace two circles onto whatever you're using. Um, like I said, I'm gonna recommend barely there, but um, hey, we have a customer. How do you like that? Awesome. Okay, so I know, funny squirrel rabbit. So this larger squirrel, circle is five and a half inches and the smaller circle that I've done is three inch. If you want it bigger or smaller, you adapt it. I like the proportions of this, so that's what I did. So I fused the larger one on first and I zigzag. And I used um, Silky number, the 12 weight thread on my top thread 
not on my bottom, just on my top, regular thread on the bottom. Um, I like how it does a top stitch. So I did a very close zigzag. You could do this by hand if you wanted to, if you're not a machine sewer, this could all be done by hand. So that's what I used and this is how it turned out. But if you wanted to do blanket stitch, uh, if there's some other stitch you want to do around the outside edge, by hand, go for it. Then I fused a little bit of the smaller circle to the larger circle, centering it. I didn't go all the way around before I was done stitching. I put a little batting in there so it kind of poofs up a little bit, like a little bit of a mound there. I wanted to give it some dimension. You can leave that out if you don't like that. Uh, I haven't washed this, so I'm not really sure what that's gonna do to it, but it is washable, so it may just kind of all scrunch to the bottom, but that wouldn't be the end of the world either, okay? So my, for my little flowers at the top, this part, yeah, I, I can't, you're not gonna have a pattern if you don't do the download, but they're a little six-sided flower that I cut out. So you could do a circle and then maybe do little scallops around. And if I was doing a circle, I would probably do like an inch and a half circle and then try to do the scallops around. So what I did to get those little like buddy flowers at the top, I just folded it in half and then folded it in quarters and you kind of get like a little bloom. Um, then I just tacked at the bottom and attached it to the hat. I did one in the center, then two to the side. And I think whatever colors you would use would be pretty. I used felted wool on this. Um, I'm not really sure how cottons would work for you, but you could give them a whack and see how it worked. And then I added a little ribbon at the bottom. So you could leave the ribbon off if you wanted to. You could use flowers if you liked. Um, you can really make this however you want to as far as that part goes. It kind of reminded me a little bit of an Easter hat we used to be wear back in the day. And so then towel colors. Um, I did pink just because I thought pink would be pretty, but I think it would look nice on any of the other ones. I did a small check, but I think a big plaid would look nice too as well. Happy, springy, cheery. So there you go. That's the straw hat for today. So if you have any questions or anything that we can help you with, we'd love to help you. Um, people asked me the other day, what are you doing at the store since the store is not busy? Okay, so today uh, Amy was disinfecting everything, all the surfaces that are here um, with disinfectant. So we're working on that and I get the job of cleaning the carpets and they are very, very dirty. So we're working on things <laughs> like that. Um, we clean out the barn, we clean up the back storage um, room. For those of you who don't know it, that gets really full and busy and <clears throat> messy sometimes, so we kind of tidied that up a little bit. Um, other projects for the day, we wanna do like cabin fever bundle kits for you guys too, so that we can, um, if you get shack wacky, we can kind of <laughs> help you out with that too, get you onto not feeling so stir crazy. So let us know if we can help you with anything. Uh, if there are things that you'd like to see us do, uh, let me know and we'll try to do whatever we can do to help us all get through this. So my lovelies, have a good day. Take Someone asked, we have a barn? Uh, there is a storage barn that we have uh, on the property here that is our barn that we put things in. It's not like an animal. All barn. the goodies. It's like a she shed, a giant she shed that's what we have. <laughs> Um, and I have a funny story to tell you. So you remember those um, sheep that you, people used to put in their yards, like their wooden sheep, and I wish I had it here to show you. Well, Pam kind of resurrected hers, and it's awesome, and you guys are all going to want one. It's like a wood-shaped big sheep. And on the one side, she put, like, furry nest that she had at home, and on the back side, she put, like, bla uh, plaid on the back side. And so um, she found her sheep pattern today. So when we were saying it, it was like, well, she Pam found her sheep pattern. And, and then somebody said, well, where do we think she found it? And it's like, well, we think she found her sheep pattern in the she shed. So we had a good joke about <laughs> all the sh sh shows that were going on. So anyway, yes, we have a barn on the property. Um, the animals are not out yet because it's too wet. So probably April, they'll come out, maybe. So when they have their revealing, we'll let you know when Glenda and Sally and Bonnie and Sophia are out there. So 
Um, um, someone else asked, they would love some other quick tutorials. We're going to keep doing them, right? As long as we can. going to keep doing them as long as they had. And I guess this is going to maybe force me to clean up my sewing room at home if we get, like, a uh, really nobody going anywhere thing. We'll so still do them out. We'll, we'll try to do something. I want to do, like, I have some, I had some classes planned. So you guys just need to be one giant class that we have. Um, we have some bags that we did, and we have a really cool ruler. It's called cherry picking. Uh, that's really cool too. So we'll try to keep going as long as we can um, till I run out of ideas or till this thing is over. So um, have a good day. Question two for the the pile of stuff. Can they purchase those somewhere? These little guys. Not here? those. The background. That. The towels. The towels. Yes. yes. Are we going to put them somewhere that they could um, we can, purchase? Yeah, we can do that. Or we could do a kit for them, too, if you want exactly this. So um, just message us? or uh, That would be the best thing I would do. Just do, like, a direct message to our face. Since you guys are doing Facebook Live, you're seeing it that way. You're not doing the YouTube thing, which, by the way, we have videos on YouTube, too. Um, all of these are just going to you know, fly them over there. So um, we'll put some of the towels on. We don't have tons and tons of towels. So it'll kind of be first come, first serve on those. Um, I'll have Amy put the limit of what we have on there so you can get some towels too. So um, there is some toweling and maybe we can do like a wool applique toweling thing that we do because that was going to be a class that we did. So we can show you what toweling would look like too. So if we can help Another you. question. Uh -huh. um, someone said, hi Karen, checking out your project from Marietta. Love the pastel women's of Corey's. Do they need to have a fusible on them or do they need starch? Do you have them in stock? Pastel fusibles of Corey's. I, I'm guessing they're talking about the, the spuns. Is that what you're talking about? Like the wovens, the pastel wovens? Rita, can you let us know what you, um, which one of Corey's it is? Is it her, does she have a new line come out? She has canning day that came out. Um, Sugar Creek had some wovens with it too that were kind of pastels. Canning day so far, all we've gotten of canning day is the pre-cuts. We, I know we have five inch squares of canning day. Um, I can check on that and let you know, but if you could help me out more with the pastels. That she said yes, woven. Wovens, yeah, yeah. We have some yellows and some uh, like a peachy color and then there's a couple of grays that we have um we'll try we can try to message you some yeah, pictures we'll send you some pictures so that you can know what they are do they need fusible on them or do they need starched um it depends what you're going to do if you're going to stitch on them i would put some shape flex or something on the back of them to kind of stabilize them um as far as blocks go, I don't know that I'd want that on the back of there for like quilting, but I would start them really good because wovens, because of how they're uh, manufactured, they do have like some shift cottons don't, they're a little more stable. So I would definitely do some starching on those because it's easy to pull them wonky if you're not really super careful and most of us can't be that careful because we're human. So we'll send you advice. a message of some options yes. too. We'll send you pictures of those, what we have Perfect. in stock, and then we can go from there. So Any other final questions? Going Thank you all for watching. Once, going twice. Maybe today <laughs> we can actually shut this off and I won't make I it. think too you talked about doing a walkthrough through the store as well. Oh yes. Okay, so we can do that. Um, you want to do it in like 10 minutes? Yeah, we'll go live again in 10 minutes and we'll do just a general walkthrough. Yes. Um, Delilah would like to order one of the truck panels. They are on our website. We can yep. put a link to them for you. If you plaid sheep company. They're under specials. Yeah.com. Um, but we will make we'll send you one so you can order one. Yep, they are absolutely. so cute. They are really, really cute. And Delilah, you might want to think about getting two and the seriously, just they're really, really cute. And I think once you see the colors and everything, you're gonna be like yeah, I wish I had <laughs> you now. So think about that, seriously. And I'm not a salesman. I'm just saying they're really They're cute. cute. Yeah. So. All right, ladies. We will go live in 10 minutes with a store walkthrough. Yep. Thanks for watching.